All right, first thing we'll do is couch. Um, we'll demonstrate from, let's go in back fly to straddle, okay? Okay. So lean on back, up here. I'll walk my feet over this way. Nice straddle pike. We'll give me your hands. And then I'm going to bend my knee here to receive your weight and push me up. And then this other foot's underneath your armpit there. Okay. Okay, and then you can grab my leg. Most common mistake is the flyer will bring the hips too far forward this way. Okay. And so you really need to bring your hip back and your shoulder back. So you know there's a fall that can happen this way towards the head. That's yeah. dangerous. So but I if feel you, really sturdy on that side, yeah. actually. Yeah, if you start feeling like you're falling this way as the base, you want to bend this knee really quick and keep this okay. leg straight so that their feet come, come down, down first. Okay. Okay, so let's break that down again. Okay. Um, I think the easiest way to get into that couch, I'm sorry, a straddle bat was that cannonball again. So let's go from cannonball. Okay. Do you remember that? You grab my feet, you lean back, you want to lock the cannon first. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Stay in the ball first. Um, and then come up. So if you come up too fast like that, sometimes the base won't be able to gauge the weight and it'll bring them back a little fast. Okay. So let's demonstrate that once again, a little slower. So I'll have you grab my feet, Sammy. Tuck into a ball first. This is called loading the cannon. Okay. And go bring your knees towards your chest first. Just stay in the ball first and then on two, one, we'll press up and out like that. Okay. That way the base and the flyer can be more in sync versus Sounds just good. going right into it. Yeah. Okay? So now we're in a nice strata bat. I'll grab my flyer's hands. Watch how her legs are nice and piked. Really common mistakes, the legs go up towards the sky and my feet slip off. So Sammy here, she's keeping her legs really straddled, really piked, engaging her core. Her arms are tucked in. I see this happen a lot when arms come out. This doesn't give you as much strength. When you come in, you can use your shoulders, your biceps, and your forearms. They're all together. Strong there. I'm going to bend my knee. What happens when I bend my knee, it, ma it makes it easier for her to bring this hip over. So I bend my knee, her hip comes over. I keep pressing on this hand, the opposite on this foot for the diagonal. My foot comes underneath her armpit. She grabs my knee there. And then now her job is to bring her hip back. A little key point is when she, the fly brings her hip back, she starts to slide off back this way. So your feet have to be in that crease there and you can scoot it back more towards her butt. So you want to bring the foot more back towards the butt so there's a platform okay. for the fly to be on. So watch Sammy, her hips are stacked. Her top hip is above, her shoulder is stacked above her bottom shoulder. It's creating a nice T. Right there. And if she's, again, keep the, keeping that midline, if she feel like you're falling, the base is want to bend the knee right away and keep the other leg up as high as you can. So I can come on too. So that she can come on down there. Uh -huh. So what you want to do first to start this low on the ground is we'll have uh, Sammy belly base me. I can show you how to start from there. So she'll just come down onto down there. She'll get into a belly base position. I'm simply just going to get really used to falling from this height. Getting my one foot on the hip and the other foot on the armpit here. I want to get super used to what it feels like to be on this position here okay. and getting this hip stacked. Common mistakes, the hips come too far forward. Stack it, where it's right on top. Shoulders, don't bring it forward, bring it back. You'll feel like you're falling back, but you need to bring yourself back to a plank position like that. And then now you can get a feeling what it's like to fall. And if you're falling, bring your feet down before your head comes down. So I also recommend just doing planks on the ground like that. To get used to bringing your hips back and your shoulder back. And then try it on a belly base.